Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. This morning I woke up and it had rained yesterday. So there's big puddles everywhere and I'm just trying to get myself prepared because I've selected our next destination. I'm a little wrinkled today, but it's, it's okay. That's kind of expressive of how my life is at this moment. Yesterday, whenever I pulled in, I had gone through a rainstorm in Telluride, it had stopped. So I decided to office a little bit from the van. And in the process of doing that, I met a little friend and it was just so delightful. In fact, Mary E always has all sorts of cute little chipmunks and things like that running around. So this was such a delight. I think you can see from this, super, super cute. There was an entire family of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so today has been a good day to wake up. It's beautiful. Yesterday it rained a little bit, but everything's fine now. I was able to get down some mountain houses because I'm about to hit the road. I think that would be the easiest thing that I can make for lunch today. So I am all set and set again and set again and set again because I gave myself four options. It's fine. Um, but with that said, a few interesting updates. This, this right here, th this broke. So what is this, you might be asking? No big deal, just, just a piece of my toilet. Just a piece of my toilet. <laughs> so effectively on this trip, I have broken my toilet and uh, my little shower bottle. Yay. Uh, don't worry, the toilet still is perfectly functional. I was putting the toilet away and I popped the leg down and whenever I did, I snapped this little piece off of it. It still works just fine. Eventually I probably will replace it, but I'll just get another one like it, but it still functions and it still works and it doesn't fall down or do anything weird. So I'm fine. It's just this tiny little interior bracket. The interior brackets, they kind of push out onto the side of the toilet. So with or without them, they still stay in place where they're supposed to, as long as the interior bracket is there and it is. So I'm going to throw this little guy away. And in fact, I do need to go to the dumpster and dump my trash. And then I'm gonna hit the road, I think. I need to charge all my batteries too because yesterday was not the best of sun. So while I'm driving, maybe that'll happen. We'll see, we'll see. Today's song of the day is Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Starship. And I am truly feeling that vibe today. Packed up, ready to go, dump trash, on the road we go. Again, guys, this was Mary E, $20 a night. Loved this place so much. And the camp host, Barry, was absolutely awesome. We sat and chatted for a while, and he had some great suggestions, not only for here, but also for some other places that I might go to in the future. And oh my goodness. But now we're on the road. We're gonna go down the mountain. It's gonna get a little warmer. I am sad. I woke up this morning, it was 55 degrees. It felt perfect. And after that rain, it just smelled like heaven. doing a ton of road work between uh, Telluride and Montrose and so as I'm going back I've had to stop like twice on the road and then just kind of here for a few minutes not a big deal I like to play it a little bit loose with my day so as long as I get to the destination by the time that I can still do the thing I want to do we are fine 
Now I do have to make one stop off in Montrose. I need to get some gas before I head up to the mountains again, just because it's again, cheaper at lower level elevation. But also I need to do a couple other things and I heard a weird noise a while ago in the back. So I'm thinking either something fell or something popped as a result of the altitude change. We will see, we will see. It'll be a fun destination stop. Okay, so I'm at a Walmart. I'm gonna see if I can find a bottle that could replace my Lunatec bottle <sighs> since it broke because I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be, so I don't wanna arrange for an Amazon shipment because I'm not sure where that's gonna need to go to. So this could be a solution for a temporary thing. These are my best two options. This is just a standard squirter, which, okay, it's a little bit more durable than the ones that they have in the hair section. This one is more like the Lunatech, where you pressurize it and then spray. I like this one. Neither of these is going to fit where I had the Lunatech though. But I may just have to bite the bullet and get one. I feel like this one is more sturdy. I had another problem of figuring out where to put it, but this, this works. Someone also told me to get some dude wipes because they have essential oils in them and they can deter mosquitoes. So even though I'm not a dude, I think I'm gonna get some. I have mint, eucalyptus, and tea tree. So, okay, if that deters mosquitoes. Looking for one more thing and that is body spray. And I don't know where it is here but I forgot to pack mine, so oopsies. Okay, I found what I'm looking for now. Checkout time. Okay, we've got the jackery plugged into the front now. We're definitely pulling some watts. Meanwhile, this one off the roof is, and then also this one off of the other porch, so we're good to go. I just kind of put everything in the van for now, and I'll organize it whenever I get to my camp later. I also noticed that they're doing some construction, so I may not make it to the place I wanted to go. That's not cool! It makes me sad. All together, $25.96. Not too bad. I picked up a few additional things that I knew I needed, so I, I kind of expected it to be a little bit more, but now I don't have to get them, yay! But I do have to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do with my life now. Okay, so if I'm not gonna be able to make it, I've confirmed now with my map that there is construction, so there's no way I can make it in time. I don't want to go in that direction unless I'm going for the purpose of what I wanted to do today. So instead, I think I'm going to go boldly into a different direction altogether. I don't know how this is going to work. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm going to go north and I'm going to go to Grand Junction, shoot over a little bit to the east and then go north again and just see what happens. I've never really explored that section very much, except for when I went to Rocky Mountain National Park. So let's do it. Let's have some fun. Okay, okay, okay. 1586 topped me off. Gas was 309, that was nice. Maverick here in Montrose, right on the edge of town. Gas is much cheaper here. Oh wow, I, I'm not sure what's happening. Oh no, that's not good, that is not good. I was driving along and started noticing that there were signs saying the right lane was completely closed for like a mile back. Normally they close it and there's like construction or something, there was nothing. Couldn't figure out what's going on, tons of police. And then I came upon that. Yeah, today is a weird day. It started out wonderful just like every day does when you're at a beautiful campsite. And then I got on the road and I've just been seeing all sorts of really weird things. It is coming up on a weekend, so I've seen so many RVs, like more than I've ever seen. I think it's people taking long weekends and getting out. I probably saw three or four hundred RVs heading in the direction of Telluride. I'm assuming because they're having one of their festivals. That is a lot of RVs for that area. Um, in addition to the ones that I already had seen there, which was a lot. So I think I left at the right time. I'm happy about that, but in the process, I'm trying to find some place that's not as populated, but with the weather being so beautiful, it's just, it's slim pickings in some of the areas. So I'm going to a new place. This will be interesting. Where will I end up? I'm still not sure, but I guess we'll talk about that when I get there. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. I'm going to keep on driving and well,